All right, so during our first race um, out on the track, uh, we got about seven and three quarters, or sorry, six and three quarter laps. And one of the issues that we had, it was just cut off. So our chain actually ended up falling off. And what happened was our one-way bearing ceased. And when we were going, it was, it was going around and around and around. And around. Something happened where it snapped at the, the master link, it's called, um, where the chain, where, when you link the chain back together, it, it connects. Uh, that actually broke off, and the chain went flying off, so we were unable to finish. What a one-way roller bearing does is it allows us to, when we are moving, it allows us to turn the motor off and continue moving forward while the chain stays still. Think about when you're on your bicycle and you're riding down a hill and you stop pedaling, right? You're still moving forward, but the chain is essentially not moving. That's what we want to do. Less friction, less drag, and that will increase our uh, efficiency. So the problem that we're facing now is we have a broken freewheel hub. We need to replace that with a one-way roller bearing. All right. So we need to make sure that we can, one, connect this roller bearing to our differential and it's still big enough to connect to our sprocket. All right. So we want to make sure that it can fit over the differential and that we can actually weld it to our sprocket. If we can't weld it to our sprocket, we then have to come up with another way to attach it. Um, we want our differential to continue moving while we're driving but the chain has to stay perfectly still. The, the more the chain moves, the more drag it adds to the whole system and the less uh, efficient we will be. Um, our car is about 450 pounds, so we want to make sure that it can, one, withstand that weight. Our motor is about two and a half horse power. We want to make sure that, that it can withstand that torque, right, so that when the motor starts initially turning the tire or the sprocket, um, it needs to be strong enough to withstand that turning motion, which is called torque. The one-way roller bearing needs to withstand the RPMs of the motor as well. So if it starts, it can't engage at a, at a uh, high, low RPM, that's not good. We want to make sure that it's low enough so that we have our motor revved very low, low RPM, and that it'll engage right away rather than at a higher RPM like some roller bearings are.